Hey all, Heber here. So uh, today we are looking at the new Azure Lane Commander, the Rune. So uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to know what she can do. And uh, initially I didn't think much of her. Uh, she's not a very good primary commander and I think actually Azure Lane Heber is probably better in most instances. Um, but if you look at her base perk here, Cruiser Gun Traverse and Rudder Shift Time, those are the same perks that uh, Tesla has and uh, she's another German she's a battleship commander but she's very good as a an agile cruiser inspiration and I've been using her for pretty much a long time since she came out so uh, if you just look at uh, that lady here for a second uh, you will see that for all intents and purposes they are the same they both give you three percent rudder shift time but the main battery traverse speed is calculated differently between the two commanders so uh, I want to see if Rune is actually better than Tesla because uh, turret rotation is very important on Agile Cruiser. So I want to get the best I can possibly get. But it also means that unless you are an Agile Cruiser aficionado slash expert like I am, uh, you probably won't need this commander at all. Uh, even for a primary commander, like I said, Azure Lane Heber, pretty much better in all areas. So uh, let's take a quick look at one of my favorite Agile cruisers here, the Atago. And uh, I'm running Mikawa Agile build on it, obviously. That's the whole point in looking at Rune here. So uh, if we have a look at my Mikawa setup here and my inspirations, you'll see that uh, I'm actually using uh, the German lady that I talked about before, um, Tesla here. And I, I have a 16.3, so it's not all the way upgraded, but it doesn't matter. We're going to upgrade Rune to 16.3 as well, and then we're going to compare the turret rotation and see if Rune is actually worth the money. So uh, I'm going to do this for you guys so you don't have to waste money and resources on Rune. But uh, I can tell you that, yes, she is better. But uh, let's just first go back into the uh, commanders here, and then we're going to find Rune. And uh, then we're going to put her to the same level as Tesla. As you can see, she's 16.3. So we have to make Rune 16.3 as well, so it's a fair comparison. So first we make a 16. It's expensive, I know, but like I said, I'm doing this so no one else has to do it. So uh, that's it, Rune 16.3. So uh, the plan now is to change the inspiration on Mikawa here to see if we get an increase, or should I say decrease, in the turret rotation. So with Tesla, it's 22.2. That's already really fast for Atago, but of course we want to get it faster if we can, and every second counts. So uh, Tesla, going to get rid of her, and then we're just going to see if we can find Rune. And uh, no, she's not down at the British. Uh, she's probably behind. There she is. And we're going to put her on and pay the fee, and uh, then we're going to see what difference did it make. And uh, if you have a look here, we're down at 20.8 um, for like typically slow turning Japanese guns. This is really, really fast, guys. And uh, she's not even really upgraded, so we can probably make it 20 and a half uh, if we make her legendary four. So uh, it also means that Tesla is now useless. You cannot really use her for a primary commander. There's much better options. And then now the only use as an inspiration is gone because Rune is better. So honestly, Tesla is useless. So don't ever buy her. Buy Rune instead if you absolutely must. So I uh, hope you liked it and see you out there.